There are two things in the world that create magnetic fields. One is magnets, the other is moving current. The best way to get moving current is to get a long piece of wire and put some voltage across it. In order to measure a magnetic field or to display a magnetic field, we talk about magnetic field lines. But it's important to know what those magnetic field lines mean. Well, magnetic field lines show you two things. First of all, they show you the direction of force on a north magnetic pole of a compass. So a compass is simply a bar magnet suspended on a little point that it can spin on. The dark end is the north side. When I bring the compass close to the magnet, I see that the north side points away from the north end of the bar magnet. If I reverse the bar magnet around, I see that the north end points towards the south end of the bar magnet. That's why magnetic field lines always leave the north pole and go in at the south pole, because the magnetic field lines are showing you which way is the force on a north magnetic pole. The second thing that magnetic field lines show you is they show you the strength of the magnetic field. The way they show you that is by their density. In a place with very dense magnetic field lines, the magnetic field is strong. If they're more spread out, the magnetic field lines, then that represents a weaker magnetic field. The magnetic field around a bar magnet is fairly simple. But the magnetic field around a current carrying wire is a little bit more difficult. So here I have a coat hanger that I bent to have this long straight section. If I were to put a current through this wire, the way I determine the direction of magnetic field is using what's called the right hand curl rule. To use the right hand curl rule, you need to get your right hand out and make it as if you're holding a cup or something like that. The thumb represents the direction of current in the wire, and the fingers curl in the direction of the magnetic field lines. So let's say I had current entering the bottom of this wire, flowing up this side and across the top. Then I would put my thumb in the direction of current going up the wire, and my fingers would curl around the wire so that the magnetic field points in the same direction as my fingers around the wire. We can do an experiment to test this. Here I've got a power pack currently set to 2 volts. I'll connect the negative end up to the top and I'll connect the positive side to the bottom. So the current will flow along the bottom piece of wire, up the side and across the top. So if the current is flowing up, I would expect a compass to point towards me on this side. I would expect it to point to my right behind the wire. I expect the compass to point forwards on the right side of the wire and to my left in front of the wire. So let's try it and see if it works. Flick on the power source. I get the compass. And I see that it does point towards me on that side. In the back it points to the right. On, on the right side it points forwards. And on the, in front of the wire it points to the left. So I do see what I predicted. The magnetic field around this wire is circular. So I verified that the right hand curl rule works to find the magnetic field around a wire.